everybody, <laughs> sorry princess here. This is my third time now recording this intro, but just in case you didn't know, I'm a U.S. Army soldier. I've been in the military for over 12 years now, and I'd love to share my experiences with you all to help you become the best soldier you can be. If you ever wondered how we keep warm in the military, in the winter, in uniform, then keep on watching because I'm going to put my uniform on from head to toe, winter edition. Well, okay, let's jump right in. As you can see here, I am rocking that t-shirt. This is in the color Coyote, and it is worn under the new OCP uniform. As you can see, it matches very well with my pants. It wouldn't be a try on haul without me actually trying the pants on, so I'm gonna put them on just like you put yours on, one leg at a time. And then we're gonna go into the buttons. We don't want to miss a buttonhole. The biggest headache about these pants, oh girl, show them off, show them off, are the doggone belt boots. But as you can see, they have revamped the woman's uniform and we have a stretchy elastic waist, guys. Oh yes, oh yes, but let's go in with that belt. So this is the Coyote Brown Rigger Belt and we're gonna count the belt loop holes. One. Two, three, get a girl, get a girl, get a girl, four, five, six, seven. We have seven belt loops. Did they need to add any more? No, they want to make sure our pants don't fall down. Go ahead and tie that belt and let's move on to the next article of clothing. Uh oh, we have the socks, the tan socks. They come in tan and black. Those are the only two authorized colors you can wear with the uniform. These here are the Bates socks. They are the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. You can get them at your local clothing and sales. Disregard the ashy feet, but we're gonna put the socks on and I'm gonna show you how I put my socks on to alleviate that annoying sock line that you get on your ankle. So we're putting on the socks there, we're putting them on the socks, but we're not going to leave them there. We're going to roll them on down to the ankles. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You get no annoying sock line. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're not done yet. We have one more layer of clothing that's going to keep us warm. This I call the waffle. As you can see, the inside looks very similar to a traditional waffle that you would eat. It's another layer of clothing that will keep you warm in formations when you are in those disrespectfully cold places like Germany and Colorado and Alaska and Fort Drum. Those are places you're definitely going to need this. I believe this was issued to me. I'm not sure if you can buy it in clothing and sales, but um, if you go into any of those cold places, look into one because you're going to need it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to proceed with the next layer of clothing. This is called the OCP jacket, and I have my jacket in a regular short, I believe. I believe I'm a regular short because I don't like my jacket too long. But as you can see, it may be a bit snug when you're trying to layer up, but it's definitely needed when you're standing out in them cold formations, let me tell you. As you can see here, I'm tucking that waffle in because my jacket is a short, so I don't want it to hang out. This is a waffle from the old uniform, the ACU uniform, when it used to be the tan colors. I still wear mine. I just tuck it in so that um, you don't see that it's a different color tan. As you can see, I tucked my collar in there. But this, y'all, when I tell y'all, I was nice and warm and toasty. But we got one more thing. We got one more thing because we can't go outside like this. No, ma'am, no, sir. All right, the last layer of clothing that I'm going to show you today is my coyote fleece, ladies and gentlemen. It has the same patches as the uniform, rank, and name. And on the other side, U.S. Army. This fleece will keep you warm like no other. I love this fleece. I literally wear it all day 
um, at work sometime because I get a little cold in the pharmacy. But this right here is going to be your best friend in the winter time. Don't be one of them people that be walking around without their fleece. Like you can wear your fleece in the winter time, y'all. But wait, we are not done yet. What is a complete uniform without your cover? You have to wear some sort of cover at all times. This particular one is called a PC or patrol cap. It has rank on the front and your name tape on the back, girl. Yes. So like I said, standing in those pesky formations, you are not allowed to put your hands in your pockets, no. So make sure you have your black gloves at all times. Your gloves have to be plain and they have to be black. Please don't be the one that don't have their gloves to make everybody else in formation have to take off their gloves. Because when I tell you, it, it be cold, it be cold. What would any Get Ready With Me Army Edition video be without a boot scene? I get a lot of questions on boots and boots alone, so if you guys want me to do a video, let me know down in the comment section below. But this is how I tie up my pants and how I lace up my boots in the winter. I did get these boots from the tactical store inside the PX Mall area. These were not issued to me. When you go to basic training, they will issue you two pair of boots, winter boots and summer boots, and those boots are trash. So I highly advise you to go to your PX, your clothing and sales, your tactical store, take care of your feet and buy yourself some boots these ones literally feel like I have tennis shoes on I love these boots go get y'all some boots okay that's the end of the video your girl is a little toasty so I'm gonna go take this off but I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see y'all in the next one bye